hey, what is up? So I'm just sitting in my prayer room, um, try to do this every morning. I just get alone with God. And I know a lot of you watch and you've got stuff coming against you. We all have different seasons, things coming against us. But I want to encourage you as you wait for him, no matter what kind of darkness is against you, no matter what it is, no matter what you're facing, um, that the strength can come from waiting. Uh, I'm going to read you the scripture, Isaiah uh, 40, verse 31. I'm sure you've heard it before. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So in my own personal life, just, you know, this year's just been been crazy as far as like a different, just a different season, different type of warfare, if you will. That's what it is, a uh, spiritual aspect. Um, but there's all kinds of different things coming against you uh, in different ways. Um, so, you know, you all have different situations. What I want to encourage you is wait up on the Lord. Just have a little bit of faith that he will come through for you. Because as you wait, you're like, you may not see the breakthrough right, right away. Or may, maybe you think, why isn't it here yet? But waiting is not like passive, like, well, I'll just sit around and wait. It's attentively, it's excited, it's eager anticipation. I don't know how my king is going to come through for me, but I know he's going to come through for me. That is what he wants. He wants us to, to be um, anticipating uh, how he'll break through for us. Anyway, wait upon the Lord. You'll renew your strength. You will soar high on the wings like eagles. And just as my wife and I, we were on a like a date the other day, um, walking in, in like a nature area here in town. It was awesome. There was this huge eagle. And I was, I said, right when I started, you know, in my head, I was like, Lord, I want to see like a large bird, like a osprey or whatever, hawk or something. Sure enough, it was a brown eagle. We got an awesome video of it, and I I pulled my camera out when we saw it, and I started recording it. And he flew away. And he was doing just beautiful uh, singing, or, or I don't know what it what it's even called. Um, and uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this on the back side of this video so you can see it. Anyway, wait upon the Lord. He will come through for you. He loves when you have a little bit of faith. A little bit of faith. You don't have to have huge faith. He just talks about a mustard seed amount of faith uh, can move a mountain. So just actively wait for him. Like, God, I don't know how you're going to come through for me, but I know you're going to come through for me. You, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to do it better than I can imagine. You, he's just, that's just the way he is. He wants to do it like gold. Like, look at this gold shining back here. Like his love is like, pure gold. It's perfect. It's, it's, he will do it better than you can imagine. So when you are dealing with darkness in whatever way you're dealing with it, because we know we're in a world that has a lot of darkness, but Jesus is light and he wants to come against that darkness and he will just, he wants plenty of opportunities and we have plenty of opportunities. So trusting him, waiting on him uh, knowing that he's going to come through is is really key. Um, and he's going to make you stronger in the waiting. So just wait for him. He will do it. He'll do it better than you can imagine. I hope this encourages you. Um, as I speak this, I'm encouraged too because it's just, you know, faith comes from hearing the word. So as I speak, talking about the word, his word, that's how faith comes. So I'm I'm hearing it too. So my faith is growing at the same time. So, all right, have a good day. Later. Peace.